This is an easy teardown and repaste thanks to the iFixit Pro Tech Toolkit. Link in the description for that. Now there's something special that I want to add during this process today that I'd like HP to see and have their engineers take a look at. The first thing we need to do is remove that bottom panel, so remove the six Phillips head screws. Then I'll use a suction cup from that tech tool kit and use this to begin with the removal of the bottom panel. I like this method on this chassis a lot because I won't damage the aluminum with pry tools. Next, unplug the battery cable, then carefully unplug both fan cables. Remove the two screws on each fan housing, then remove the six screws that hold the cooling solution onto the motherboard. Then carefully disconnect both Wi-Fi antennas. Then remove the cooler and fan assembly as a single unit, lifting up and out towards the battery while navigating the Wi-Fi cables through. Now I'm not particularly fond of this black cover and how it covers the right edge of the CPU PCB area. That silver trim is raised as well and this will further reduce the physical space that can be occupied. The CPU side of the cooler is flat, so any material that's on the PCB surrounding the CPU die can prevent proper contact of the CPU die and copper cooling plate. So after cleaning off the thermal paste with isopropyl alcohol, which by the way, looks really good, nice job HP with the application, I'm going to carefully remove the black sheet that surrounds the CPU. It's stuck on in a few spots to hold it into place and underneath both memory slots. This is really easy to remove, it will not damage the laptop. I was also careful enough not to damage the black paper material should I wish to reuse it. After everything is clean and dry, reapply new thermal paste and reassemble the laptop. This job start to finish should take about 20 minutes. After all of this, temps before and after are basically the same. Later on down the road, your Omen's paste will be dried up and long overdue for replacement, so use this as your guide. Now I cannot confirm that removing the black material improved the CPU cooling situation because of the new thermal paste. HP is pretty good about fitment of their cooler and thermal pads. I've personally seen confidential schematics of this, and what we have here today is likely within the tolerance of parts, but when that day comes to replace the thermal interface material on your laptop, consider removing that paper if your results are not favorable. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'm glad to have helped. Catch you in the next one.